Shown here is the concept of antagonistic pleiotropy as it applies to aging. So what we have here is basically an individual that is fitter because it can produce more offspring faster than this individual here. However, as a consequence of putting energy into progeny production, this individual is less able to repair itself and therefore is unable to uh, uh, survive for long periods of time. And that's what this arrow with the X through it is uh, supposed to indicate, that uh, there's a, a lack of energy put towards uh, repair. This individual is able to repair itself. It's able to live a longer life, uh, but it does so at the expense, in this case, of taking longer to produce uh, what progeny produces. The idea of disposable soma works along the same way. You have this fitter individual. The individual is able to produce uh, more uh, progeny per unit time. However, it does so at the expense of repairing itself so it doesn't last as long. It, it, it ages faster, whereas this individual is putting energy, that's what the E stands for, towards the retention maintenance of its own body. It's able to live longer, but that energy is no longer available for uh, the production of progeny and therefore it produces fewer progeny over time.